A new series in name, but with the history of an old one under a fresh coat of paint, the FIA Formula 3 Championship will make its debut at the 2019 Formula 1 Spanish Grand Prix. FIA Formula 3 is the result of a merger between the former FIA F3 European Championship and GP3. That said, this new championship almost entirely borrows from GP3, so followers of the GP3 series will find that not a lot has changed with the rebranding. But for new fans and fans of motorsport alike, here is what you need to know about this new championship starting in 2019. As a spec series, all the FIA F3 cars are designed and sold by just one manufacturer. This levels the playing field by putting the emphasis on car setup and individual skill. For its inaugural season, FIA Formula 3 will partner with Dallara, the same chassis manufacturer of the previous GP3 cars. The Dallara F3 2019 car follows many of the aero and stylistic choices of the current Formula 1 regulations, while also featuring the Halo safety device. To save on costs, the organisers opted to keep the same 3.4-litre Mechachrome V6 engine used in the outgoing GP3 car, which produces around 380 brake horsepower. As in previous years of GP3, Pirelli will once again take up the role of tyre supplier with their P0 branded tyres. Four dry weather and two wet weather tyres will be available to each driver over the course of the weekend, with Pirelli nominating either the soft, medium or hard compounds before each event. There will be no intermediate tyres used in FIA Formula 3. Finally, it is worth noting that the way DRS is used has changed compared to the former GP3 championship. Previously, drivers were limited to 6 uses in Race 1 and 4 uses in Race 2, but from 2019 onwards, DRS will work the same as Formula 1 and Formula 2, as drivers will have unlimited use of the overtaking aid as long as they are within 1 second of the car ahead. So all in all, the new contender for the series is really an evolution of the former GP3 car. A typical Formula 3 weekend will appear very similar to that of Formula 1, but with some key differences, so let's break it down session by session. Like Formula 2, Formula 3 has only a single practice session held on Friday, lasting 45 minutes. As this is the only track time before qualifying, it is vital for drivers to get as much practice as possible. Next, a 30 minute qualifying session will be held to determine the grid. This usually happens Saturday morning, but will be held on the Friday at the Spanish Grand Prix. There are no separate Q1, 2 or 3 sessions, rather drivers have the entirety of the half hour to set the fastest possible time they can. Later on Saturday, the first F3 race of the weekend will be held. The number of laps will be determined before each event, but there is a hard time limit of 40 minutes should running be delayed by an incident. A second race will be held on Sunday of the same length, with the grid being decided by the finishing positions of the previous race, but with a twist. F3 uses a reverse grid setup for its second race, where the top 8 from race 1 will be reversed. If a driver wins race 1, they will start race 2 from 8th, 2nd will start 7th, 3rd will start from 6th, and so on until 8th place lines up on pole position. This only applies to the top 8 however, as drivers who finish 9th or lower will start the second race where they finished in race 1. This means drivers will fight for the lower positions in order to gain pole position for the following race. Due to the short duration of both races, there is no mandatory pit stops, so drivers will only be heading to the pit lane if there is an issue. Points are based on the regulations used in most FIA sanctioned championships such as Formula 1. The main exception is that 4 points are awarded to the driver who attains pole position in race 1, and there are 2 points given for the fastest lap instead of 1 like in Formula 1. In race 1, drivers who finish in the top 10 will be given points, with the winner awarded 25, second 18, third 15, and so on until 10th with a solitary point. In race 2 however, only the top 8 are awarded points, so the winner will be given 15, second 12, third 10, until we get to 8th place which is awarded 1 point. The process for being awarded the 2 points for the fastest lap in a race is the same as Formula 1 the driver must finish inside the top 10. If the fastest lap was set by someone who finished 11th or further back, then whoever had the fastest lap in the top 10 shall receive the points. This is to stop drivers who have fallen back from putting in qualifying style laps for easy points. Although the second race only awards the top 8 finishers with points, drivers finishing in 9th and 10th are still eligible for the fastest lap points. 
A perfect weekend including pole position, two wins and two fastest laps can net a driver 48 points in just a single round. FIA Formula 3 will take GP3's spot on the Formula 1 support bill and as such will race alongside Formula 2 and Formula 1 at most European rounds. 2019 will feature an 8 round calendar starting in Spain and ending in Russia with a total of 16 races. An area where FIA Formula 3 borrows from the old Formula 3 European Championship is the amount of super license points awarded to the top finishing drivers in the final standings. Drivers all the way down to 10th will receive points towards their super license. 40 points is required to receive a license to race in Formula 1, but drivers with 25 points or more will be eligible for a Friday free practice license. This means both the champion and runner-up would have enough points to attend free practice sessions if they haven't already attained 25 points in previous seasons. FIA Formula 3 has a host of television partners around the globe from the United States to Australia and will also be available on Formula 1's dedicated streaming service F1 TV in selected regions. More than 10 drivers, including 7 of the previous 9 GP3 champions, have gone on to contest in Formula 1, while many others have gone on to compete in series such as Formula E, IndyCar and Super Formula. You should expect the success of the FIA Formula 3 drivers in 2019 to be no different. And that is everything you need to know about the FIA Formula 3 Championship. Be sure to catch the series the next time you are attending a Formula 1 event. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.